Well guys, I'm really excited to be able to finally show you what I've been working on for quite a while now. I know I haven't been out there uh, imaging deep space um, probably for about a month or so, uh, purely because I've been building this system and as everybody knows out there in the Astro community that parts are very hard to come by um, due to all this COVID and shortage. So the build has been uh, really slow and it's been a bit frustrating. Um, I'm a bit of an impatient person. So uh, this has been really testing my patience a fair bit. And let me know, um, let me know if you guys have been waiting on parts and, and uh, how long it's sort of uh, been taking you guys as, as well, because uh, I definitely know I'm not the only one. And, uh, and I'm still waiting on my Celestron CGXL mount to arrive. Um, hopefully that's not too far away. But uh, that's been a while now, and uh, and lucky enough, um, I've been loaned a mount, so I'll show you that in a in a minute. But I think that's enough said, don't you think? So let's have a look at them. Well, here they are, the twin rasses. Um, what can I say? It's huge. I really wasn't expecting it to be so bloody big, but uh, it is. And the next challenge is gonna be transporting it away, uh, around the place, because you guys would know that I do like to travel to dark skies to Astro Image. So this is gonna be another challenge on its own, but I've tried to design it as, um, to make things as easy as possible. So, Let's get started, shall we? I've got a uh, Losmandy 14 inch bar, all right? And then I've got a 24 inch bar, um, which the 24 inch bar is bolted to the, uh, the 14 inch bar. The reason for this is that the Skywatcher EQ8R Pro, as well as the CGXL that I'm getting, um, have hard stops in them. So if I was to just mount them the other way, it's not gonna be able to slew all the way around. It's gonna hit a hard stop and that's, uh, that's just not gonna work. So I've had to bolt one bar to another bar. Um, very, very solid, secure. I've made sure of that. I don't want to uh, have any of this go to waste at all. Um, so that's that part there and the reason why I've mounted it like so. And then I've got two Losmanti um, saddles on either side. Now, I've been um, fabricating, no, not really fabricating. I've been uh, doing a little bit of machining to the Losmandy plates because I want these telescopes to be able to move in and out. All right, so that way, if I want to concentrate on one target but get twice as much data on it throughout the night, I can then um, move them in, inwards. Or if I want to start shooting larger portions of the sky, I can then move them outwards and get that, you know, 20 odd. 30% overlap between images there. So I will demonstrate that in a minute, but before I do, I'll keep going um, through the system. All right, so I've got two ZWO ASI 294 MC Pro cameras on top. Um, as you guys know, or if you haven't and you're new to this uh, this channel or this video, um, I've been shooting with the 294 ever since I got my first um, Celestron Rasa, which is this one right here. You can probably tell it's the one with the dirtiest um, uh, corrector plate on it. So uh, I really like the, the combination of the two and I've gone out and got myself uh, another 294 and uh, obviously the second Rasa. Now powering these units are the um, ZWASI Air Pros. How I'm going to use this is one's going to be basically a slave. So I'm going to um, connect it up to my phone or I might go out and buy another tablet and just set the exposures and away that goes. Now I'm going to probably lose a few extra frames um, just for maybe some dithering or meridian flips and stuff like that, but that's fine, I'm happy with that. The other controller is gonna control the guiding, the mount and, and everything like that. So it's gonna be like the main controller um, of it all. The second one is just a, a dummy, a slave. 
Now, when I just mean slave, I don't mean that you can run them like a master and slave because you can't. All right, so it's just my um, way of explaining that. One's just going to be a slave, meaning it's just going to be running on its own. And the other one's going to be controlling uh, everything else. So um, that's that uh, side of things there. Now I've got my Celestron on 80 mil uh, guide scope with the um, with the ZWO um, guider uh, running that. So um, yeah, everything is uh, pretty much just about ready to go. I do have um, beta UV IR cut filters um, mounted inside the uh, um, or in the telescope section uh, there where you can screw out that little window. And uh, so what I've done is I screwed out a little window, taken that um, little bit of glass out and replaced that with the filter. I do have a few other different types of filters on their way. Uh, so I'm going to be also playing around a little bit with that. And I guess the advantage of having the twin system here is that I can put one filter in one and leave one as it is and just see what sort of um, images I'm getting from that as well as ghosting and see what I can try and do to um, reduce maybe some ghosting and flare around really bright stars. Uh, but yeah, that's that's it. So what I'll do is I'll show you the, um, uh, the rasses going in and out and how I've done that. All right, so uh, I've got my uh, Allen key here. And all I'm gonna do is just undo these Allen bolts that I've underneath and then as you can see i can then adjust the um position of that rasa now um i might have to make this a little bit looser there we go so there's still a little bit of uh teething i have to do with this with the system as you can see like um this is basically just I finished uh, doing a little bit of work on it today, so I've connected it all back up and uh, yeah, making this video. So um, just a few adjustments there, and then I'll just tighten it back up. Now what I've had to do is I've had to drill out a hole a little bit larger here um, for the Allen bolt to uh, recess in a little bit more because I don't know if you know or if you've uh, owned one of these um, saddle plates, but the bolts actually go in through the top and come down and bolt into the threaded um, plate. But the plate itself, the holes weren't where I wanted, wanted them to be and they weren't threaded. But I also wanted to be able to adjust them while I'm out there as well. So therefore I needed the Allen bolts to be underneath and I've had to um, drill out this one here, recess it so it can um, go up a little bit higher into the plate. And then I've got uh, two nuts that I've pressed into the top of the, uh, the plate here. So that way I can just tighten it right up and, uh, and we're all good to go there. Now this one here, what I've had to do is uh, machine out a little bit of the, the plate um, in a, an arch so that way it could um, move across and then I had to get a, a washer large enough so that way I can then tighten everything up and uh, and we're all good. So exactly the same with this side here. I'll just undo it a bit. And again, we can move it. Well guys, we're very, very close now to uh, taking the twins out on a bit of an adventure and uh, start shooting. I am waiting for my ZWO um, focus motors to arrive. Uh, and the reason I'm going down the ZWO focus motor path is purely for the control side of things. Uh, I do really like the Celestron um, electronic focus motor. So if you're just running one of them, that is fantastic. But because I'm running the two, I can't run two Celestron focus motors. It just doesn't work. Um, together so yeah, I'm jumping off the Celestron focus motor um, side of things and I'm going to the ZWO electronic focus motors only because it just makes sense and it just makes things a bit easier for me well uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video let me know which target you guys would like me to shoot on the first light with these uh, with the twins is it the um, 
tarantula nebula in the uh, large Mangina cloud or um, the Seven Sisters, um, Orion, because they're all starting to rise uh, and maybe uh, Ida Carina. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure myself, but let me know in the comments what target you'd like to see on the first, um, first night out imaging. All right, guys, well, um, yeah, that's it for me tonight. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give me a big thumbs up, um, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. All right, well, until next time, take it easy. See ya.